Copenhagen at IBC 2010 at the Viaxis stand with François Moreau de Saint-Martin, the Director General of Viaxis. We're going to be talking about content security. François, first of all, uh, you have a new smart card uh, shipping in the market now. Can, can you talk me through that, please? Okay, so, so we are uh, in the content protection business and in this field of security, uh, so we need to keep always state-of-the-art in, uh, in terms of the technology itself, which is moving quite fast. And so we are pretty happy to launch this year our next generation of smart card, uh, also known as uh, PC5, which is embedding a new, le new, level of the new level of security, new security features, for the operators to fight more efficiently against the threat of piracy. What do you think are the major challenges ahead of you in the content security industry? So, and so in the, the major challenges in terms of content security beyond technology itself and security itself is the, the need for all the operators to develop new offers of services, the moving from pure live TV to all the on-demand services, moving to various kind of devices, embedding IP technologies in the, in the delivery uh, of content to the, to the subscribers. And uh, so this makes, this, this makes a real technical challenge to bring the right technologies in terms of security to be able to target all these different devices to manage all the IP uh, enabled devices and the IP networks uh, situations and always with the right level of security and if I may so I'll give a few examples of what we are doing and showing uh, this year. So we have uh, we are showing the solution that we are about to deploy with our customer Boxer TV from Sweden, with a DTT operator moving to IP to IP and video on demand uh, technologies, and where we can show a completely different user experience uh, thanks to uh, our technologies. We are also showing on the booth of our colleagues from Orca Interactive, so the solution which is which has been built for Alpha Network in Sweden and uh, that we expect to deploy in some other countries. Uh, I see around the Viaxis stand that uh, you're, uh, you're now developing new products like applications. What, what new challenges do they provide Viaxis? So, so lo looking a bit more into the future, so, so we expect application stores to, to, be, de to be deployed in the, in the television world quite a lot. This raises different security, sec security and other technologies question. Applications should not jeopardize the security of the existing services on the set of boxes on one hand on the other hand this uh, this is a business as such meaning that we need to protect the business of application stores and that tools such as uh, recommendation engines can be also very useful to develop the business of applications themselves the levels of complexity that are added to content security by multiple devices much, must be a, a major challenge for uh, uh, business leaders like Viaxis. So ch challenges are on the security itself, but it's, there is also a challenge in terms of rights management. Because what, we, what operators would like to do is to deliver content to each subscriber on various devices in a seamless and secure manner. And this means to deliver the rights to the, to the different devices of each users properly. And we have a full flexible rights management platform to help the operators in doing that. If you had one message to the content industry about security and about, um, about protecting content, which is the, after all the revenue generating product, what would that be? So the industry, should, on one hand, should not underestimate the risks uh, related to security, and uh, on the other hand, maybe beyond sec beyond security itself, there is a great opportunity and a great challenge in the field of user experience and the way pe people can get access to the content. And uh, so our subsidiary, Oka Interactive, is de developing a range of products in this area, and I think there are amazing solutions for content discovery based on recommendation engines and uh, making content discovery entertaining by itself, which is not always the case in some uh, existing uh, services. How do you future-proof your products in a, in a world where it's ever-changing, you know, new devices, new platforms, uh, new opportunities? So we have an in-depth analysis of the market trends uh, we expect. We are working closely with our, uh, with our customers. We have all the experience, for instance, we've got with Orange in developing a wide range of uh, content services with an understanding the complexity of the future ranges of uh, services that such kind of players are building. And so when, for if, if I take an example, um, 
So Boxo TV, I mentioned earlier, is moving from pure broadcast to broadcast plus IP solutions, bringing uh, new so video on demand and new user experience to their subscribers. And if I if another operator is wondering how to move to from broadcast to video on demand and want to start with push video on demand and then move to uh, IP hybrid video on demand, our platforms are designed to make it uh, seamless for them. So we have this uh, future-proof approach means anticipating on what could be the evolutions of the services of the operators. It's what we are doing and we are designing the solutions to make it future-proof for them. Thanks, Mark. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you very much.